Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast for February 10th through the 16th. Happy Valentine's Day. We're going to see what's happening with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. And we're going to use this lovely deck here. And then we're going to pull an angel message for you guys from that deck right there. Let's see what is happening for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Your Monday, Tuesday, my darlings. Your Wednesday, Thursday. And your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Monday, Tuesday, we have Ace of Hearts. And very cool because Monday, Tuesday, Aquarius also got the same card for Monday, Tuesday. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius or you may have Aquarius in your chart. So that would be a nice little confirmation for you. Uh, but Ace of Hearts traditionally is a very, very happy card that indicates happiness, that indicates fulfillment. Uh, you know, it's seen as like a true love card. It's seen as a joyous card and i always get really happy when i see ace of hearts those of you who watch my readings you've heard me talk about ace of hearts or ace of cups i have seen it over time really signify a very very uh, uh powerful message that you are coming into a really big energetic upgrade, an energetic shift where things are gonna be much happier in your life. When I see Ace of Cups or Ace of Hearts, it tells me you're coming out of a time where you would have a lot of the same thing happening over and over and over again. Like, you know, you would end up dating the same kind of, you know, terrible relationship type person, or you'd have the same kind of horrible boss, or just the same thing happening again and again, or the same issue with a family member. And then the Ace of Hearts says that you're breaking out of that cycle. You had that moment when you were like, I'm done. I'm sick of feeling this way. I'm tired of being unhappy. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to deal with this anymore. And the universe says, awesome. All right, cancer's awake now. Cancer doesn't need this uh, aggravation to wake up. And now they're ready to have happiness. Now they're ready to learn from joy, peace, accomplishment, love, all the wonderful things. So you're coming into a time of receiving. You're coming into a time of receiving. I am getting a little bit of a different feel around this card for you all than I did for Aquarius when it came for them Monday, Tuesday. And the feeling that I'm getting for you is like feeling appreciated, feeling really, really appreciated. So I feel somebody might be going out of their way uh, to show appreciation for you in a way that's touching you on a personal level. So even if it's like a work situation, maybe they would do something a little bit more personal for you like maybe like have a day to like you know appreciate you or take you out or you may have friends who are being more appreciative or you may have somebody who's planning something special for you for like valentine's day um or letting you know that they want to do something special for you for valentine's day or you may be receiving a gift uh that's kind of coming out of nowhere but you're feeling i'm getting a sense of feeling very touched feeling very loved, feeling like, wow, you know, like I'm being taken care of or I'm being looked out for, uh, really, really happy energy like that. So, so anytime that I see the Ace of Hearts or Ace of Cups, it's letting us know that you're coming into the energy of receiving, okay? And if you're really hoping that it's going to be love, uh, sometimes what happens is, yes, love is coming, but we receive in other ways first to prepare us for that really you know more intense receiving of like a very deep emotional connection so just pay attention to what's happening monday tuesday pay attention to ways in which the universe is letting you know you are appreciated you are loved you are receiving uh, and just be in gratitude of that. Pay attention to that. And the, the magnitude of what you receive will grow. Okay. Your next card here is Queen of Pentacles, Cancer. Very, 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 very nice. So some of you may be in for some pampering uh this uh this week maybe you're pampering yourself maybe somebody else is pampering you i am getting very much a feeling of like a spa day uh, a spa kind of situation maybe somebody is maybe somebody is surprising you with a gift certificate to a spa or inviting you to like a, a like a little spa thing to go together but definitely when queen of pentacles comes up 
it does indicate success in finances so there could be something happening for some of you where there's good news financially a new work opportunity or uh, something that's bringing money your way or getting called in for an interview to like somewhere where you were really wanting to get your foot in the door at uh, but when I see Queen of Pentacles, she also makes me think of being in the physical comforts, okay? Being in the physical, uh, uh, like, uh, pleasures. So uh, when she comes up, a lot of the times there's a sense of, you know, make sure that you're creating a sense of sanctuary for yourself in your home. Make your home a physical, a little peaceful sanctuary for yourself and do things that keep you connected and keep you in in touch and feel you feeling very comfortable in your physical body so you know meals that are very good for you that you really enjoy eating uh you know uh bubble baths uh nice aromatherapy showers or baths or uh candles or you know cuddling up with a nice warm blanket and a good book or you know pajamas or bed sheets that feel really good on the skin you know these kinds of things i do feel for some of you because it is the week of valentine's day i do feel for some of you it is happening in terms of somebody is like trying to um uh, I'm hearing butter you up so I don't know I don't know if you've been upset at somebody um, or uh, you've been playing hard to get in some way but there, there's this feeling of like somebody trying to really be expressive towards you of you know how they feel about you and uh, you know trying to like give you show you appreciation in this way but for other ones of you it's like the self-love thing like you're really coming into this energy of taking care of you spoiling yourself you know when i see queen of pentacles it's like spoil yourself and so something may be happening in the middle of the week you know maybe that ace of hearts is happening and your heart chakra is opening up and you're like i'm just ready to put some love and some energy and some attention into myself and that is going to translate into physical abundance a lot of the times when Queen of Pentacles comes up for me, it says that when somebody takes better care of themselves physically, they're going to receive more physically in terms of finances and money. And I want to clarify something, Cancer. When I say take care of yourself physically, I want to clarify what I mean by that. Unfortunately, in uh, today's society, when we hear take care of yourself physically, there's like this connotation or association with it about like trying to be super, you know, quote unquote hot or looking a certain way. And that's not what I mean by take care of yourself physically. I mean, take care of yourself physically by doing things that feel really good for your body that are also very healthy for your body, right? Um, or just, you know, little luxuries, little ways of pampering yourself. So that's why I talk about like getting really good quality sleep, getting really, um, you know, food that has vitamins in it, but also tastes really good that you really enjoy eating, um, you know, massages, pedicures, uh, you know, getting organized, uh, just doing things that make you feel good to be in your body because then we're more present, we're more in, in the mindfulness also, and this is helping us to be more successful and the better our work, you know, we have a better income coming in. So for a lot of the times when I see this card come up, it has that message with it as well. Um, next we have Prince of Hearts. This is crazy. This is crazy. Um, Aquarius, you have two common cards with Aquarius. Not only do you have two common cards with Aquarius, they're coming up in the same spots. So I'm curious how many of you have Aquarius in your chart or how many of you are dealing with an Aquarius. This is very, very interesting. Um, but, you know, it, in general, um, you know, to have this card come up for you, Prince of Hearts. This is going to be in traditional tarot what many people know as Knight of Cups. And just from watching other tarot readers or, or hearing other people talk about tarot, um, I have heard a lot of people give the Knight of Cups a bad rap. Like when the Knight of Cups comes up, oh, I don't want the Knight of Cups, I want the King of Cups. Or, oh, I don't have time for that, I don't have time for a player. I don't feel with Knight of Cups, um, you know, that player energy in my readings. Me personally, I don't read Knight of Cups as a player. I don't. And especially with these other cards, again, same energy as with the Aquarius reading. 
you are opening up and you are receiving something. Because when I see Knight of Cups, it means two things for me. Either you're coming into a sense of like your own little quest, your own little adventure where you're deciding to do things that bring your heart joy and you're really taking in the world with your senses, uh, you know, sights, colors, sounds, tastes. You're going to experience the world in a physical way that's bringing you happiness and joy. Or it is someone coming into your life, a suitor or somebody who's dating you. And even though it may not be escalating or they may not be coming in in a way where they're like ready to like be like, let's get married and run off together. The Knight of Cups comes in to teach someone how to receive. So you may be coming out of a time or a period um, in your relationships where maybe somebody uh, was not, um, you know, treating you well or, you know, not appreciating you or not being romantic. And so you're learning to receive that romantic energy. You're learning to be placed up on a pedestal. You're learning to be pampered and, you know, having somebody be very attentive to your needs. Somebody who's not just giving you that dirty talk, but who's trying to, you know, be romantic or trying to be you know, bringing in a positive experience in that way, right? Or maybe if you are someone, you are stepping into that night of cups kind of energy. Maybe in the past when you've tried to pursue people, you felt kind of weird and you felt kind of awkward, but now you have the confidence where you're able to go in that way and to approach the relationship in that way where you can be charming and you can be, you know, intriguing and, uh, you know, like desired. Okay, so that's the energy I get with this card. We're going to go ahead and check out your angel message, guys. And as always, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Make sure that, um, you know, you check those out, too, because some weeks they may resonate with you more than others. And we have <laughs> God of Conflict Resolution. Wow. Somebody is trying to butter you up. Somebody you did. So some of you are having an issue with someone. And someone is trying to come in and win you over again. We have God of Conflict Resolution. You are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. So there could be someone who's trying to earn your trust or forgiveness, right? If this is a toxic situation, like if you know this person to be toxic, and if you know this person to maybe be, be behaving in ways uh, that maybe are abusive or manipulative, then absolutely, you know, step away. But if it's not that serious, and if it's, uh, you know, just kind of maybe a, a misunderstanding of sorts, then this card could be asking you to, you know, forgive, uh, to let it go, to let it slide. Uh, but I definitely do feel like some of you are in this energy of like somebody trying to win you over. And other, because it is a general reading, you guys are impacted by the energies in different ways. For other ones of you, it's more where you may be walking away from someone or something and having this whole week of self-love. And oh, there's all these other people interested in me. I'm going to give this Knight of Cups over here a, a try or a chance. Or I'm going to be Knight of Cups and I'm going to go after somebody new. But there's this whole thing of like just self-love. Self-love being appreciated, being ready to be appreciated, okay? Um, so whether this is a work situation or whether this is a personal situation, uh, someone is trying to win you back or make you feel appreciated. It's going to be up to you whether or not you're going to give them that chance, okay? Uh, but whatever it is, Spirit is asking you to take the path that is going to bring you the most peace, the most peace and the least amount of resentment, right? Like that's what we want to aim for here. So again, watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. And if you wanted to do that, now might be a good time. I am having a sale. Usually the 60 minute readings are 150, but to celebrate 88,000 subscribers, I hit a couple of days ago, um, I'm doing them for 88. That might still be too steep for some people, I understand, but I have a whole wide range of, of options on Calendly, so you might be able to find something that works with your budget. I, I Pretty good chance, I've got a pretty wide 
range of options there. But if not, like if you're not ready for a reading or, or you can't, you know, do that right now, no worries. The free videos are going to keep getting posted. In fact, you might want to check out the angel messages for February that are linked in the description, the love readings for February that are linked in the description. And every single day, guys, if you want something in between the weekly videos, every single day, I post a card of the day on Instagram and Facebook, and I do a fun little pick a card game as well. I'm posting more inspirational things and meditations and affirmations on the social media as well. So be sure to take advantage of that and follow and like Amethyst Angelite on um, Instagram and Facebook. I thank you guys so very much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm wishing you an amazing week, my dears. Take care.